Hello and welcome to the Supercharged Q&A. On the YouTube videos that we do, the most commonly occurring question seems to be, what code editor are you using? And I thought, well, I'll answer the question. It's fair enough. But before I do, I just wanted to say, for me, it's not a big deal. I used to work uh, in a former life on servers, and I'd get to uh, one of the servers, and it would basically have no editor whatsoever, and I would just use Notepad and fix the thing. So for me, I come from a place where it's just a way to mess around with code. I, I like it fairly minimal. I like it to kind of be, uh, you know, without bells and whistles, I suppose. So with that caveat sort of said, let's actually have a look at what I'm using. Now, in my case, I am using Visual Studio Code, uh, which I recently switched to and which I think is it's brilliant. I love it. Uh, let me show you around a, a couple of things that I think are, are really good about it. Um, let's say I've got this send event function in my code. Um, if I say new custom event or something like that, which is part of the web platform, um, it will tell me what I should be putting in there. So it says it's you know there's a string that is the the name or the type of the event that it is. So I can just be like, well, it's the name of the event that, that's going to do it. And then I can use a dictionary for other stuff that I need in there, like bubbles, true, and stuff. So for me, the fact that it's um, you know going to sort of start recommending uh, what I should actually put into these. Uh, as parameters. For me, that's a huge deal. I, I think that's uh, incredibly helpful. It saves me having to go off and uh, do reference type stuff all the time. The other thing is you see here, I've got uh, the red, uh, red line under new. And that's because I've actually got a bunch of uh, extensions installed, one of which is ESLint. In fact, let's just talk about the, uh, the extensions I have installed. I have editor config, uh, which is a very good way of setting what the projects settings are that you want to use. So in my case, for this is the, the supercharged code that we do, uh, Surma and I. The editor config is fairly lightweight. We indent with spaces, two spaces. There's a little fight that we can all have, tabs versus spaces, uh, pfft, whichever works for you. Um, uh, the character set, you know, trim trailing white space and insert a final new line. So basically, this is like project-wide uh, settings that I want to use. So that's a really handy little extension. Um, ESLint is the other one. And that's why that code is red, because I basically uh, do not use new for side effects while I'm because I'm not assigned to anything. So event equals that. And then I can just, you know, now it's saying you didn't use event. So there we go. So I'll just send that. There you go, and there's my function actually finished. That's the that's really nice, and now I know there are no errors. And so for me, the linting, built-in linting, and again, you can get that with virtually any editor, any editor. So that's cool. Um, and then last, uh, I'll mention the document this, which for me is also a nice little thing. If I just do that, then it starts to fill in uh, the, uh, the the JS doc for me there, and it's saying param is that, but I would say it's a string, so that's fine. Sends a custom event. You see how grown up I'm being, I'm documenting my code. Um, what's wrong with that? Absolutely nothing. So there you go. That is as much as I actually have in my editor. I mean, there are loads of other things, as we all know, that you can add. But for me, that's the minimal thing. I like the checking. I like this sort of uh, code completion suggestion stuff that you get. Uh, and so I mean, I, I, I recommend it. But I'd recommend Atom as well and Sublime. They're all very good. Um, so pick whichever one works for you. But thanks for the questions. Hopefully now. Um, that puts that one to rest. And I'll catch you, probably with Surma, because he'll be showing up at some point next time.